But this gentleman right here, Al Chislett, he uh, gained an interest in prospecting by hearing about it. Uh, he loved the outdoors and he has a passion to be successful in whatever he does. And on a particular Friday this day, I remember the secretary, this gentleman came in and he said, would uh, Norman Mercer be available to see me? And so she came down and she said, Norm, there's a gentleman here from the Gould, just outside of St. John's, and his name is Albert Chislett. He'd like to uh, meet with you. So he came in and, uh, you know, we sat, uh, he sat down and we talked all about prospecting. We talked about the prospector training. We talked about different aspects of our potential. He realized I had a lot of enthusiasm and passion. Uh, he had an intensity about him. And uh, I remember after about an hour and he wanted to start looking on the Avalon Peninsula. And so he started, now I said, don't get intimidated, you know, by the maps and the words that I'm gonna, the reports I'm gonna give you. But I said, just think about it as natural processes. And, and so he went on, I think within a week he had found his first showing. But I remember when he left the office that day and it was a, it was a quiet intensity, right? He's, uh, uh, and, uh, when he left that day, I said to the chap that worked with me as an information officer, I said, you know, if ever I've met a man who will find the mine, I met that man today. I told him about that the other day, because from that day, uh, he would call me probably two or three times a week or visit, but then he'd visit with the Naran, the geologist or prospectors and so on. So in late 1980s, early 1990, they were just bringing out a program, $100,000 and they would issue out small prospectors grants up to, I think, it was $3,000 to $5,000 to assist with their gas, cost of their assays, a bit of food, and so on. The first grant, they said, uh, could you touch base and get Mr. Chislett to come in? And so Minister Din presented Al Chislett with a check for, I think it was three or $4,000. That was in late 80s, 1990. And just three short years later, right? On September night, they land at a place called Voise Bank, and they return to this province a multi-billion dollar venture. Voise Bay Mine alone has contributed just indirect mining and mineral rights tax over a billion dollars to the treasury of this province since 2006. Just that one mine, right? And the other new mines. So this is all part of our, our pitch to the, uh, that was a very modest investment, $100,000 that are dished out to individuals around the province who are getting involved in prospecting.